Hello everyone, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector, your Dark Knight of Collecting. I have some breaking news for you out of the camp of XM Studios. But before we begin, I'm going to ask that if you are a new subscriber here, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button that does help people just like you find this content. I really appreciate you guys watching. But now let's get on to that breaking news. Again, it comes out of XM Studios camp and it was kind of surprising today. And it's basically about their pre-orders, how they handle their pre-orders. And let's talk a little bit about how they've been doing it since 2018, late 2018. They have been doing the MTO, and that is the made to order. I've covered it on the channel before. We've talked about it before on some of the various Rogues Gallery shows, but made to order basically is they open up a pre order. Let's say that they are going to do a Batman statue. Okay, they open up the pre order for two months, and however many they sell in that two month period, that is how many they will make. So if they put that Batman statue up for pre order and they only sell 100, in that two month period, they're only gonna make 100. Now, of course, they're gonna wanna make more than that, but it's been very successful, and it's been one of the few, they've been one of the few companies that have been doing the MTOs, so at least the large companies, and I, I really appreciate it. I think it's a really great thing for collectors. Um, but things have changed, and things have changed uh, throughout the entire world, obviously, with the coronavirus, as you guys are very well aware, and it has affected the way people are pre-ordering items. Now, a lot of people are not pre-ordering now at all. Some people are. In my group, I see a lot of people still pre-ordering. I've pre-ordered a few items myself, but I understand why people in general are going to be very cautious right now because we don't know how long this is going to last. We don't know if it's going to affect us financially. And it's definitely affected the way that people, at least the majority of people, have been pre-ordering from companies like XM Studios and others around. So XM Studios, as of the filming of this, are changing their pre-order status, basically. They are no longer going to be doing the, the MTOs. Some of you out there might be very upset by that. But I think what they've come up with is a good solution to help collectors. Uh, first of all, with the MTOs, there are some that are still up for pre-order right now. Uh, they have said that they are going to extend those a little bit. So if you know they might extend it by a month, that's going to give collectors a little bit more time, a little bit more buffer. So that's going to be helpful. Uh, some of the pre-orders that recently just closed, they're going to open those back up just for about a month and see if there's people that really want those because again, it's gonna give collectors just that little bit of buffer right now while uh, the world is going through what it is, okay? But here is how the pre-order is going to actually change, okay? So what they are going to do is that whenever they get ready to announce a pre-order, okay? And let's say, this time, let's say it's a Joker statue, okay? So what they're going to do is they are going to announce, they're going to come up with their own ES number. So let's say that they say 500. They're going to make 500 jokers. So they're going to set up the pre-order and that is how many they're going to make. And they're going to leave the pre-order open until all 500 are sold. Okay. So they're no longer going to cut off the date anymore, but here is the main thing. Okay. So usually with the MTOs, what they would have to do is they would have to wait for two months before they send it on to the factory to get started. So that's automatically a two month delay. And obviously there's so many delays these days. It takes forever to get statues. Obviously with the factories closed down or limited capacity of people working at the factories, it's gonna slow down everything right now. And it has been slowing down things. But if you don't have that two month buffer anymore, that is really going to help speed things along. So basically when they say, okay, well we have an ES on this Joker statue of 500, they are going to go ahead and send it to the factory and the factory is going to be working on those 500 while people are still pre-ordering. Okay. So that is a big change uh, from what they were doing, but hopefully it will speed the process along tremendously and it will only really benefit the collectors. Now, is there a possibility that they won't sell all 500? Yes. And then they're stuck with the stock. So that becomes their problem. But obviously it's still going to get to you a lot quicker than, than it has been in the past because they, again, it, it trims off that two month buffer. And I, I think it's just a win-win for collectors. Again, I could see where people still want that MTO and maybe that's something that they will continue on after all this is over. You know, but again, the world has changed and maybe it's changed forever. I really don't know. Um, maybe this is again, the new normal, 
But I did want to bring this breaking news to you today because it does, in fact, change the way you pre-order. It definitely changes the way they do things. And I just wanted to give you guys the most up-to-date information uh, as I saw it. So anyway, thank you guys again so very much. Again, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Click that like button. That does help people just like you find this content. It definitely helps me as the channel as well. And also, if you want to take it one step further, hit that notification bell at the bottom. That does notify you every single time I put out new content. Also, you can join our Batman Statue Collector Notification Squad. If you want to do that, I will send out emails to you. You get uh, information about new videos or contests that I'm running or new products that are coming out. Uh, it's just a way to stay connected so you guarantee, basically, you get the information. You can sign up for that at thebatmanstatuecollector at gmail.com. Just send me an email and I'll add your email address to the no contact list. Excuse me, not the no contact list, but the private contact list. Um, anyway, as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Uh, again, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments about this. Like, I want to know, are you happy about the new way they're going to do it? Or do you wish that they had stuck to the MTOs? I would really like to hear your comments down below. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave.